good evening sir uh, so the uh, women in the western world we see uh, like they are in very prominent positions like in business academia in uh, government sports etc uh, but in india we see that although the education has quite opened up for the women but they aren't seen in many key roles uh, so so what is the solution to this uh, what is the ideal way for india to raise its daughters the the parents the society the teachers will have to largely forget that the kid is a daughter that the child is a girl child you know the as long as you are saying i am raising a daughter it's a daughter you will raise and all daughters will become women and a woman is is a captive to herself how can she be liberated uh, she is as much uh, uh, captivated within uh, her uh, physical identity as a man is uh, so uh, that won't do look at a child as a child uh, the differences between the two genders are quite minor it is a society that uh, really exaggerates them and it's exaggerated out of ignorance and in the pursuit of pleasure the man is made a hyperman the woman is made a hyperwoman if you do not do that then there are differences but those differences are are minor also those differences show up only in specific uh, life situations specific physical situations otherwise those differences don't even come into play so the father the mother the teachers uh, why address her in a special way hmm? in a distinct way i just do not understand why girls must have a different set of toys or why they must have different uh, kind of clothes compared to boys it's quite interesting you know garments even for 4 year old girls are more expensive than those for 4 year old boys it's as if uh both the parents and the girl are being messaged uh that the girl's worth lies in her body and therefore her garments otherwise physically a 4 year old girl and a boy are much the same i mean almost the same how can there be uh, a difference so much difference in their garments and in their pricing huh? and uh, i also fail to understand how is it that uh, of course the bodies are different but not so different we simply blow up the differences it will never uh, be intelligible to me why must girls have such long hair i understand there are differences uh, in 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 uh, in height and in build and uh, after puberty the differences uh, get amplified also all that is all right biological but why must those differences be exaggerated so much hmm? and uh, you are training her to be body centric do you see that uh, what is lip color uh, what are all those things that are gender specific how exactly do they translate into beauty these are very fundamental questions mankind should should ask at least parents they must ask themselves these questions why must a responsible mother ever introduce lip gloss to her daughter is that not very very violent of her to introduce the daughter to lip gloss 
or to uh, or to costumes that are very feminine the girl hardly requires them right uh, see i'm not talking about uh, suppression of uh, sexuality right let sexuality be a celebrated thing in life and all that is okay i'm talking of turning someone body centered at a very young age when she does not even know what she is going through as a mature adult you are free to uh, discover your sexuality experiment with it enjoy it celebrate do whatever you want to all that should be done with wisdom when you are mature but when you are a girl and your question is how should india raise its daughters where in when you are in that phase when you are being raised uh, a very very responsible person should be hemming all this unfortunately most parents are themselves in need of uh, self knowledge and education life education so the way they treat uh, their kids especially their daughters is pretty horrible um so the way boys and girls are differentially introduced to sports and all the little cues that girls keep getting little but continuous continuous um, there are very seats at the dining table who is supposed to help with the dishes uh, who is supposed to go outdoors to play who is supposed to have the guns and who will have the dolls who can walk around topless even at the age of 7 or 8 right 7 or 8 the the bodies are not so different but even if the girl is 7 years of age and uh, she is on a beach the mother will probably ask her to not go topless and that's not about strangers prying on her even if there is nobody on the beach the mother will say oh you please cover up so all that turns the girl very body centric and uh, that plays havoc with consciousness uh, a caricature she turns out into with no appetite for anything sublime so the body becomes um, uh, a toy the body becomes a weapon and the mind becomes numb the result of all this is stupidity and then you have the caricature of the dumb blonde right heard of it huh? all that is very unfortunate you know but what's that meant to communicate someone who is gorgeous sexy sexually very compelling but very dumb of mind why does it come to that if at all why must this unfortunate thing be allowed to happen no it's not allowed to happen it's made to happen and we do that with our daughters huh? because we ourselves are body identified in the first place so these are just two genders not two different species right man and woman these are just two genders different genders not different species so her fundamental identity is exactly the same as that of the man her fundamental urge is exactly the same and she wants liberation every bit as much as the man wants 
but we do not realize that because the society itself has been historically man dominated and man has no interest in looking at the woman as a conscious entity man would rather look at the woman as a material sexual object to be consumed and very unfortunately the woman too has imbibed this idea this idea comes from the man and it's not that the this idea serves the man no this idea has poisoned even the man's consciousness not that this idea is good for one gender and exploitative towards the other no this idea has destroyed both the genders and the woman too has uh, embraced this idea of uh, her body her identity her life huh? it's the it's the mothers that destroy their daughters the most hmm? so it's very curious no sometimes you find fathers being liberal and they do not want the the daughter uh to develop into the typical woman huh? more liberal and broad minded fathers and it's the mother who wants to confine the daughter and turn her into the stereotypical woman so, so that's the worst thing that can happen the woman herself uh, uh, imbibing Uh, <clears throat> a male centric idea of uh, femininity uh, she has to she does not need to be uh, to develop herself as a toy for the man uh, she is consciousness she deserves to know learn explore experience learning is the purpose of her life growth is what she is born for she is not born to give birth huh she is she has taken birth for her own growth not to give birth to five other entities she does not exist to serve the husband or the kids or or somebody else her primary purpose is to serve her own existential internal need and that is for liberation that's what she wants so she has to get this body centered image out of her mind she has to stop believing that being a wife and being mother are very important things mm. only then can there be liberation for the woman as long as the idea of womanhood is is tied to um, her sexual life which includes life as a mother there is no hope for the girl the woman and all that is quite sad Mm? let's let's change that mm? we have already had enough destruction let the girls of uh, today put an end to all that crap right